Dear brothers and sisters, dear friends, I greet you all as you gather with this wonderful people, Queen of Peace Apostolate. This is where you meet, obviously. It's not easy to go a long way to Medjugorje. Now, actually, it is the same as long as we encounter the sacraments, as long as we encounter the prayer. So it's not easy to go to Medjugorje, but I welcome you to your own conference. Uh, Queen of Peace Apostolate is a Queen of Peace uh, work in the church. This is the church. What you are doing is the church. This is the work of Christ. This is the work of priests. This is the work of life. So when I see you there today, I truly see you in vision, in apparition of wonderful grace of the Holy Spirit. And this is uh, what every vision and every apparition needs to be about, where we touch and where we are touched by the Holy Spirit. And I pray that this gathering, that this your gathering, will be in the service of the Holy Spirit, where the Holy Spirit will touch you in such a way that you will receive sacraments, that you will, in a new way, in a new inspired way, allow the sacraments to come into your life. This is the way I see Medjugorje. This is the way I see the message of Our Lady. And this is the way I see the work of the Church. And that is the return and the commitment to sacraments, to be in sacraments. This is conference, this is one day conference, wonderful. But then this one day conference will be every day conference, the rest of your life, which will be celebrated in the most special way in the sacrament of Eucharist every Sunday. A believer today, a Catholic today, a believer today is the person who goes to church on Sunday. That is the way to be. And there is no other way. When we go to church on Sunday, this is the same way as Jesus goes to Jerusalem, avoiding temptation of Peter. He goes. He didn't have a mission to do something in Jerusalem. He didn't have work to do. He just went there because he needed to be there. Period. End of it all. He needed to be there. Just to be there in obedience. With that being there, everything, his mission is accomplished. With him being there, crucified on the cross, he fulfills the will of the Father. And that is the nature of Eucharist, that is the nature of sacraments, that is the nature of the message of Our Lady. You being there, because that is the only way to be in sacraments, to be in prayer, to be in faith. And there is no other way to be. And that is really the destination where every pilgrimage needs to take us. And in that pilgrimage, which, lead us, which leads us toward the Eucharist, we become the celebration of Eucharist. And then when you return home, the Eucharist continues. Everything in your life becomes the body of Christ. 
things that you do, things that you touch, things that you say, become part of that celebration of Eucharist. Becoming the body of Christ. And then our life becomes a celebration of life of Christ. And in such a way we, we become witnesses. And then when we become witnesses like that and we need to be comfortable, we may be comfortable, not afraid, God will speak, will do everything for us. <laughs>